everybody's got you know something that they could improve at that they could be better at but it's like one thing and you're out the door i haven't come here for this i'm not going to get violated and i have to set a standard if i let that slide for the whole week my shit's going missing then when people think you're weak and you physically can't like handle yourself yeah. that's when they take their piss the key is just taking that little step out of your comfort zone i miss my daughter a lot yeah. This is why I say people don't like you. That's cool. I know why I came here. I didn't come here to like you or like you or like the next girl. I'm too cute. You already started. You're not that cute. Did Joe Paul just yeah, touch absolutely. me? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. In definitely. your life. In your life. In light of the altercation that happened yesterday night, we have decided to send you ladies on a wellness retreat. Those girls do not like me. No matter what you say to them, they will never like me. All they can do is come to my face and be fake. Girl, I opened up to you. I literally sat down and opened up to you. I trusted you. You could have oh defended me in a different God. way. Defended me in a different way. I don't care. Like This is a bit awkward. I could tell by your tone and your mannerisms you were scared. I saw you guys arrive some, at an event together. At the same time, as strong as I say I am, I'm also weak because I allowed it to happen. I don't expect loyalty from you. I expect loyalty from the person I call my partner. Was he trying to make me the sidekick from the start? Like, so all those insecurities came up, so I had moments of weakness. Hiya. You are right? How are you? You look nice. Thank you. How you been? I've been okay, been better, but I'm okay. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. Yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, oh, where do we even start? Um, oh, I don't know if there's anything, if you want to start, if there's anything you want to say or... So we're here to talk about a, a boy that we both, or a man or whatever, that we both basically sort of dated and the timings kind of overlapped. But I want, what I want to know is whether or not you, because obviously we've spoken before, this is not the first time we've spoken, whether you believe or believed my side of the story back then. That's my question. Um, okay, um, for me, whether I believed it, I'm, I'm a woman's woman. So one thing about me is if a woman picks up the phone um, and is explaining something to me and is, upset, hysterical, emotional. It's only right as a woman that I do support you. Do you know what I mean? And support that. Um, I know you called me, as you said, we've spoken about this before, you called me and you know, you told me certain things yeah. about my boyfriend at the time, it's an ex-boyfriend now, who basically was cheating on me at the time. And um, obviously we had worked together pr previously to that because yeah. we did back chat together and that's how I kind of knew of you right I did believe you like I didn't not believe you but my issue I would say was for me um you see when it comes to a woman picking up the phone and calling another woman I believe you've taken that stance and said you know what as a woman I'm going to let this other woman know that her partner or her significant other is cheating on her with me. Mm -hmm. I supported you that evening, remember? I, I, I know you was quite worried because the person at hand is quite abusive. Yeah. Um, quite narcissistic, not even quite, he is narcissistic. Um, he is, <sighs> the list goes on, but hey. Um, so I was very supportive because I could, I could tell by your tone and your mannerisms you were scared. Yeah. Um, but what it was for me is there on after that happened, um, I had learnt that. So after picking up the phone and calling me and saying, as a woman, you know, this is what's going on, you then went back and said, why her and not me? 
So that kind of demolishes the whole, as a woman, I'm picking up the phone to tell you A, B, C, and D, when you're gonna run back to the same man and say, why her and not me? Do you know what I mean? And for me, I just felt, were you expecting him to, for me to leave him and then you could have him wholly to yourself? Right. Which I don't mind, you can have him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I don't mind, but I, I just, it, just it, it was very distasteful to me. Since then, we haven't had a conversation. You know, I used to follow you. I used to even, I, was, I, I felt like at the time I was very supportive because I remember we spoke on a few occasions after, not properly after that, but you know, I, was, you know, I, I would support. You. Yeah, you showed me love. Yeah, it showed you love, exactly. So for me, that's where I became distant and I felt like, nah, I don't have time for... If you're going to be a woman and say, as a woman, I'm picking up the phone to tell you this, don't be that same woman that's going to run back to that same man and say, why her and not me? Because yeah. then you've given him the upper hand. Everything that you did, did previously, I question it. Like, what yeah, was the reason that. that you did it? My thing was this. Everything bad that happened, that was questionable on my part, happened within two weeks of me finding out. So basically, most of the time, I tried to have common sense, but I did have, what do you call it? I did have slip ups. So there's moments of weakness where I probably said stuff I shouldn't have said, you know, which I apologize for. It was just, sometimes I'd be having a bad day or I'd feel really insecure in that moment. Cause I'd be like, oh, like, why is he like, it's just, it's just not nice to find out that a guy's already got a girlfriend. And then you feel like, oh, like, why do I, why do I, is he, was he trying to make me the side chick from the start? Like, so all those insecurities came up. So I had moments of weakness. So I feel like I definitely effed up in the first two weeks um, of finding out that you were his girlfriend. But after two weeks, I promise you, like, I would say I was proper 30. I um, didn't chat to him. Obviously he, he chatted, he reached out to me about business, but um, I didn't chat to him. I didn't say anything in regards to, um, me and his situation, um, I just had to get over it. And if it's, even though the way I got over it was unorthodox, and I'm not proud of some of the stuff I said, I was just having a weak moment. Mm -hmm. I appreciate know, I, that. Yeah. No, honestly, I do appreciate it. The person in question is, I think we both know the type of person he, he is. And for me, my main concern at the time was your, your emotions and your safety, because I would know the person I was with. Right. Like, you know, and he was very abusive. He was very, you know, he said things, he done things, he made me believe certain things. And I feel like what it was is um, that you were like the icing on top of the cake for me. Right. Yeah, like you, your revelation was just like, okay, cool. And with me, I tend to not, I don't like to give my, I like to get to know people on my own accord rather than it being he said, she said, I've heard this. And I heard many things about him, many, many things, but I kind of decided, chose to, which I'm not gonna say was a great choice. I chose to block it out and ignore. Looking back, I wish I did. So when you came, it's like, rah, do you know what? Thank you, do you know what I mean? And you know, I was like, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't raise my voice once. I didn't, I was just like, do you know what? It's fine. Because the only person, I don't expect loyalty from you. I expect loyalty from the person I call my partner at the time. So the But I didn't know. Yeah, no, and I, I oh, understand yeah, yeah, yeah. that, I understand that. So for me, it's just, I, I feel like you were just like the, almost like the, the window or the door opening that was basically slightly open, but I just needed it to be booted down for me to know that this wasn't a right situation. Um, my concern mo mostly was, you know, the fact that you felt like he was gonna harm you. Do you know what I mean? And that just showed me that raw, like, cause prior to you, there had been another woman that contacted me. There has been messages that I've received on Instagram, okay. you know, Prior to you, I had heard and people had said certain things about this person. And so it's almost like when you came, it was just like, right, all of these women. And something that I also noticed, there was a pattern of behavior. This person tends to date people that are in the influential world or in the limelight, do you know what I mean? I don't want to really throw people's names out there, but you know, I'm aware that he, he dated, um, um, so I think it's someone Beckford. Is she a hairdresser or something? No, she's an influencer from Birmingham. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's clear that this person is, I don't know what his ammo is, what he's, what he's doing, but he clearly is, and I only found these out after, 
Oh, Obviously, did you? Yeah, when I found out I was in when I was in a relationship, I found out about all these other people. I think that's the only um, issue I had with you because now that you've you've apologised, I appreciate that. But that's why. But um, when I say I, 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 it wasn't that I was harbouring things because I didn't harbour anything. I just let it go and let you be and just thought, do you know what? <laughs> you are who you are. If that's how you want to move and roll, go for it, girl. I hear you, I hear do you know you. what I mean? So, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's quite interesting. To, f to know that back then he did not want me to have anything to do with you, talk to you, you know, have any kind of conversations with you because I think he kind of knew um, that the possibility, the possibility of... Yeah, but he didn't, obviously, him, him as well, he didn't fully know me, so he didn't know, obviously, I've, I've, I've actually got a big mouth. So he didn't know that about me, or else I don't think he would have gone near me. You know, the whole situation, when I look back at how I, how I behaved, I just behaved, I behaved really silly. Um, so when I first met him, he told me, because um, I don't know if you remember this, I was in a podcast with him. Yeah, I do right. remember. Yeah, so um, he told me um, to not tell the other cast members, not cast members, the other podcast, podcast, podcast people um, that we were like talking, because this is before we've done stuff, but like we're talking and flirting. And I was just like, but they'll be, she was my best mate and he was close to the guy. So I was just like, but they were, they'll be happy for us. They, they won't care. And he kept being like, no, like people, people will F it up. And I was just like, they weren't though because I was like, I just couldn't fathom, I couldn't understand it. But then I thought, you know what? I've never done it that way. I don't know why he even got into my brain. But I thought, I've he's never very done manipulative. It. Let's just yeah. say that very, very. He knows how to get into your brain and make you. Because even me, I was. He kind of tried to isolate me as okay. well. Isolate me from my family. Like he's not a very family orientated person himself. So like sometimes I'll be like, I'm going to my mum. Oh, why are you going there? Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, chill. Oh. So he, he, he it's like, there's a lot of mental. But it was also because my friend knew about you. What do you mean? The g other girl, she knew about you. That was in, he was in a relationship with me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I feel like that's the, what, one of the main factors why he didn't want me to tell her. Because afterwards, when I told her, she was like, yeah, I knew. And I was just like, no. If I had just gone against him and spoken to my friend, I wouldn't have been in that situation. Because I would have known. Obviously, he, he said to me that he'd only... Obviously, it doesn't matter now. But he said to me that he'd only been with you one time. I mean, obviously, I know it was bullshit. And how you guys are just good friends. And the only reason I even had the guts or the, something in me told me there's more to it is because one time I saw you guys arrive some, to, at an event together at the same time. Do you know what I mean? And I kind of thought, it's a bit of a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence. That's what I thought. I then confided in Yasmin and basically said, I've got something to tell you. And then she goes, OK, I've got something to tell you too, but let me tell you first. So she told me first before I told her my secret. But our secrets were the same, basically. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And, that's, and then I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, I'm sure. And then I just felt really um, embarrassed. I felt really embarrassed. Even to call you, I felt really embarrassed because um, I'd met you. And obviously, I feel like you're quite... Like you carry yourself quite ladylike and stuff. And I just, I don't know, I felt like he was, that's the, probably why I asked him that. I felt like he saw me like as a joke or something. I, you know, like when, you, when you're going through, when you're going through it or you feel someone's rejected you or you find out, for instance, you're a side chick or whatever, um, you, you don't always feel the best about yourself. You feel rubbish about yourself or shit. Like, so I started to feel like, like, is, am I the problem? Or like, am I not worth it? Or... I, that's why all those insecure questions start to come start to come obviously now with hindsight i don't think i was a problem but yeah it just was a very very bad situation and i do regret a lot of things do you know what it is yeah i don't think you should ever question yourself as to whether you're worth it or not i think you um should always hold yourself no matter how you are or who you are to a high value like, you see with me, I, as I, I may not, for other people, I may not be the prettiest girl on this earth, but to me, I'm the prettiest girl on this earth. Yeah, do you know I get what I mean? You. And I carry myself to this level. And that's, that shows in terms of how I, my, my independence, you know, how I dress, everything. Like, so I feel like don't even, I see a lot of things that you put online in terms of Tion Wayne. And I'll be honest with you, Lani, if you was my friend, there'll be things that I would tell you not to do. Like, like do you know what I mean? Like, videos and, like, obviously, I understand that's your brand, but for me, I feel like... Which videos, though? Just all your videos. Anything that's in reference, in reference to Tion Wayne. Yeah, but he robbed me. I understand that, but I just feel like, for me personally, there's a way that you could handle it. Like, like how? The courts. I, tr I did actually... Small did courts. I, did I, mean? I actually did try that, Small but it's not, as, it's not as... 
it's not as straightforward Cause, as you cause, think. Because what I'm trying to explain to you is that I don't rate Tion for what he's done. I'll be honest with you, I'm not his fan. I like his music, I'll be honest with you. I like the music. I can't hate and say the guy don't make good music, but I don't like his character and what he's put out on social media in pertaining to women. Do you understand? And how he treats women. Just because I'm around real men and real men, if someone owes you or anyone's going around saying that they owe you a penny, they will pay you back that penny. Do you mm-hmm. understand? They wouldn't want that stigma. Whether it was a gift, you know, I know a man that will say, here you go, take your shit back. Do you know what I mean? That Rolex, you, you want it so badly, here you go. But instead he's happy for that stigma to continue around with his name. And so I think as a man, and maybe I'm coming from a perspective of a grown woman, you know, I'm going to be 30 soon. I just feel like he could have handled it better. You as a woman, because this is something that seriously happened to you and I don't condone it. I don't, I think it's wrong. You know, the same person that we're talking about took from me financially, put me in debt, deficit, like, and I've had to, I've had to, I had to make threats. I had to handle myself accordingly to get my shit back. Do you understand? So, but he but, was, you, but Tion's different to the person we're talking about. Again, I don't know Tion. This is just my suggestion from an outsider's perspective. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Maybe the way I'm suggesting may not have even worked. But I'm just saying, I just feel like something has happened to you seriously that should be taken seriously. Like, do you know what I mean? I did. I went to action fraud. Huh? I went to action fraud and I, I tried like the court thing. and. But I think it's because of the way you take it because you make videos about it and you're joking around about it, it's almost like other people, it's hard for us to take it serious. Do you understand? Whereas if you are not joking about it and you're actually, obviously you have had moments where you have taken it serious and you have expressed that really and truly, this has affected me. This is what this person did. And I've heard that, but the videos, it's almost like it suppresses it. Yeah, but I, feel, I still feel like regardless, people don't care because he's still the bigger. He's, I'm not talking about you, because you said you're a girl's girl. But in, in general, people don't care because he's the biggest star. So it doesn't matter. I've done several serious sit downs about it. I did one on Woman Bello. I did one on Gade. I spoke about it. I've, I've got five videos on my channel where I'm just talking about it, like calmly. Um, I've also, I've spoken to his mum and dad. Like, I mean, I feel like I've... What do you, what do you want to get? What do you want to happen? But it's world? ended now. I don't speak about Tion. Okay, so no, as in, has he given you back your money? He will has never he... give me back my, my money. But that's, all, that's also down to the fact that he does... He, I just, I personally feel that he doesn't respect women, except his mum. He respects his mum. Okay, do you know what is fair enough? I, I hear that. I understand that. I was oh. just trying to be petty. It's not really something that a lot of people understand. It's, it's just something that has to be part of your personality. Because, like, what, what I'm saying is that, because talking to you now, it's almost like I can relate to you. I can, un- like, we're on the same level now. I feel like I, I'm, whereas when I see the videos on social media and the Shade Borough and all the blogs putting up, it's like, <laughs> I can't take this shit to you. I get you, I get you. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, now I'm understanding, I'm hearing you. I hear you properly now. But when I see those videos, it's hard to hear you. It's hard to get that message amongst all that chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's why. I'm just a petty person, I suppose. So, I don't know. Everyone, I've tried to deal with pain properly, Mm -hmm. like therapy and all these other things, but I just wanted to do something petty and childish. After that situation with that person in question, I was doing therapy. I did therapy for about, um, wow. Yeah, I did therapy for about six, seven months. Really? To the point where I haven't even- You paid I, for it? Yeah, I paid therapy. I have Girl. a therapist, yeah. So I haven't seen her in a while, but I was doing therapy because what it is is that I, I'm a very strong, independent woman. I do like to hold myself to that standard or, or to, that, to that trophy. <laughs> like, but at the same time, I'm also human. And I also, I'm not made out of rocks. And I feel like as much as I put on this facade, there was a lot of pain that I went through in that relationship that a lot of people didn't see. Do you know what I mean? Um, you gave a lot to him as well. I mean, I've heard rumours. I don't know if you're going to tell us. Um, what did you hear? <laughs> that you... Okay, he lived with you. Okay. That's a big give, though, allowing someone to stay with you. Yeah, I, 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 thought, okay. I, was, I thought you were going to go through it. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, the two, the, he lived with you and that you allowed him to have a car. I don't know what the, the full story about the car, just that you allowed him either. I don't know if it was in your name and you paid for it or it was in your name and he paid for it. I don't know, but that you got, gave him all that stuff. So when I heard, I'm not saying I know if it's true, but when I heard that, I was like, fucking hell, she really rides for him. Why did he do that? You see the thing about this person, he's a liar. He lies a lot. I didn't let him live with me. Let me just be clear. It's almost like he bought himself and lived with me. Like, it's like that because, and it's crazy because all the other people I've spoken to, 
have every other woman that's been before me has said the same thing. Like he kind of just invades your space and invades your privacy. And it's almost like, that's what I felt like happened. I didn't, he didn't come and live with me. He just ended up being all the time in my home. He lied as well about having his own place. For the year and a bit that I was with him, I never saw his own place. I, I, you see the lies, it could it'd go on. I would have, I would have a, a, a two, I would have a whole book of, <laughs> of, of lies to tell you. So yeah, in terms of the car, yes, I can confirm that I did have, he did, I did do a car for him. Um, and that's where, um, and I felt like it was kind of manipulated in a certain way. But I'm also going to take accountability, do you understand? Because to see the type of woman I am, if I'm in a relationship with someone and I see a future with you, I, I am willing to go above and beyond because I saw a future. I saw us being together. I saw that being my unit, do you understand? When that all now, when I started seeing that this person's not really who he says he is, do you understand? And things started to unravel, like, like for example, saying that you have certain things and you don't have them, do you understand? Saying that you are <laughs> enough things. He told me things like he got his mum out a, a Q7 and that's why he wasn't able to get his own car. Do you understand? Wow. So there's certain things that looking back, I was quite naive in, in, in listening to. So yeah, I did. And then what then happened was um, he just acquired thousands of pounds of worth of tickets. And when you're 30 or going to hit 30, you can't afford to get a CCJ or a default on your name. So I had to literally make three. And those tickets, basically, when you don't pay them on time, they double, 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 right? Double, 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 exactly. And sometimes they go to debt collection. So the guy almost tried to flip in, fuck me over in that aspect. But again, my fault, because I did that for someone that I thought was, I saw a future Not fully. with. No, but you know, I, it was naive of me. Do you understand? But he's a predator. You can't see it that way. I only learned of these things after. Um, you really think you know somebody, but really you don't. I paid them and I then had to threaten because at the time my partner was like, and also my boys were like, he acquired those tickets, he should pay it. And if he doesn't, so I used to use a lot of like saying, I'm going to expose you on social media to get, do you know what I mean? And something that, what made me, I know a lot of people say to me is that people that know and have discussed this with me, yeah, they say to me that, like, what, what made you, why didn't you speak out on this? Why haven't you ever spoke out on this? And I feel like people need to understand it was my time it was my, it's my time to decide when I'm ready to speak on it. I need to heal because a lot happened. Like, um, he physically abused me. He was physically abusive, verbally. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, I ain't got a big mouth. I do have a big mouth. But a big mouth doesn't warrant a slap just because you don't like what you hear. Do you know what I mean? Um, a big mouth doesn't warrant, you know, making someone feel this small. Like, do you know what I mean? And uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. Like, so when we was filming, those were the things I was going through, but I never showed it because I put up this facade. You know, even my friends, I've only recently started to express what I went through with them recently. And they were livid, they were fuming. They were just like, what the fuck? Like, like, but it's because I guess it comes from also my culture and my upbringing. Being a Nigerian girl, you don't discuss what goes on in your household. You're trained and you're taught to whatever happens in your house, if it happens in your house. And it's a bad, it's not good. It's a bad, it's a bad, um, it's a bad, um, it's a bad, what's the word I want to use? It's a bad mindset to have. Like living in that abuse and staying silent, it's not good. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it's almost like you're allowing it and it consistently persists, persists and persists. And it's almost like there's no, no end to it. So I feel like, um, yeah, it's only when I got the strength and I got to a point where I thought enough is enough, you know, I also have a daughter. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, him yeah. hitting you and your daughter's in the same house. Well, she goes to her father sometimes. Okay. So, yeah. so um, but again, she's not, if we're arguing, she's not yeah. deaf and hearing what's going on. And I think those were the things that made me realise that, Esther, what the hell are you doing? Like, and I also believe, this is why I don't like to put, they see the pressures that, I'm gonna say our culture, being a Nigerian woman, puts on you as a woman, it makes you, it can sometimes put you in relationships or situationships which are toxic and not good. And when I say the pressure, I'm talking about the pressure of, you know, getting married by a certain age, having children by a certain age. It forces you into a, 
a box where you kind of just start accepting rubbish where you shouldn't accept it. Do you understand? And I got to a point where I thought, I have thousands of girls that look up to me, my daughter being one of them. I have thousands of women that look up to me as a single parent. How can I be allowing this person, this human, to be taking advantage of me like this? Do you know what I mean? From financially to physically to emotionally, making me believe certain things when it wasn't really happening. Do you understand? And even as strong as I say I am, I'm also weak because I allowed it to happen. Do you understand? But it was me going through that weakness that made me find my strength and realise that, raw Esther... But he's a pro at what he does, darling. Pro. And it was also having phone calls. Like I've, had, I've spoken to multiple women who have told me he, they've put his, their hands on it. He's put his hands on them. I've spoken to multiple women that say he owes them money. Can you come and can you speak to him? Do you know what I mean? It's got to that point. And I think my final straw, even after the relationship was done, because we broke up almost two years now, to end of 2019, going in 2020. Um, I, I didn't want to speak on it. I said I would never speak on it. I would leave it as it is. Like, whatever happens, let the dust throw it. Like, like, like I wish I, I leave him to God. God will... Only God can judge that person. But then what happened was I got a phone call from my girl, Ariette. And Ariette was like to me, yo, Esther, like, I've heard A, B and C. Is this true? And I felt I could either lie at this point and say, was it about you? It wasn't about me, it was about another woman at that current time. Okay. So this is after me. So this was, this was happened like last year. Um, so 2020, it was about mid, 2020 and at that current time um she was just like to me oh is this true i've heard a b and c these people have contacted me is this true and i felt you know what this is the time for me to just speak on it and say yes it is true he did this he did that and you know she was just like at that point she was on a podcast with him and she felt that i'm no longer working with him i don't want to have nothing to do with him and i think after speaking to her and even just, because I was happy to kind of live my life and just kind of ignore him, his right. existence, and continue on. Even though we're kind of in the same industry, I was happy to continue on and just, if he's there, I would just continue on and mind my business. But I felt like silence can be more damaging than you speaking out. And the fact that after me, you haven't learned and you still persisted to go and you know, do more, do more and hurt women. And something that Ariette said to me is the person in question that he owes money to now, I don't know if it's now anymore, but this was last year. She felt like she had to be nice to him for him to pay her back or give her what she was owed. Yeah, and I I've felt the exact same way. I've been way. there. Do you know what I mean? I I've felt the there. exact same way where I felt like I had to be nice, nice to this person. Nice to your visa. To be cut for me to get what's owed to me to get my, what's my monthly payment. That's what happened I, with my like, car thing with not car thing my watch thing with um, T on T. Yeah. So so yeah. So I felt like that's what it was, and I just felt no. Nah, the fact that you're still doing this shit, I'm gonna nah. That enough is enough. And I said to Ariet, Ariet wanted me to speak out, and I said I will, but just it has to be in my time. And my time, part of my process was healing. Of my healing was therapy, was um. um Mirroring, mirroring myself in the mirror and affirmations, reminding myself on a daily basis that I am beautiful, I am worth, I wasn't, I did nothing wrong, I was, I'm worthy, do you understand? I wasn't worth no man putting his hands on me no matter what I said, do you understand? I wasn't worth no man emotionally abusing me and saying I was this and that. There was a time that I picked him up late from somewhere and i just done my hair, it was orange, and he looked at me and said, is this why you're fucking late from picking me up? For this fucking hair, you look ugly, it's ugly. Do you know what I mean? Those were the kind of things that he used to say. And I used to think, like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? I was living with you, crazy. I don't know if you know a girl called, it starts with D. She, you must do, because she's quite vocal about him. Not publicly, but DMs. I know she's reached out to a few people. But she said that she was date. I, I know he dated a few girls probably at the same time. Yeah. But she says that um, she was her time was during the, your year, and she says that um, she's. She, I don't know the full story, but 
she made me watch her story one time. It was a private story and it was really alarming. And she had videos of her in the park basically saying goodbye. And she just, she basically said she wanted to kill herself. And this is all over this guy. And like, um, she told, I think when, after you were done, she, they still had their whatever situation, but he was also really mean to her. Yeah, so no, he, yeah, he didn't I, I think from what I'm aware, she did contact me and she also told me that he threatened to throw acid in her face for okay. um for coming Same. to tell me or for exposing him you know and i think after speaking to her that's when my like, i was just like nah i literally contacted every platform that i knew he was on and i just basically started telling them that yo you can't have him on your platform no more from castillo's platform to um the what's two grown podcast platform so i swear you did that yes oh girl so i just felt at this point in time you're not going to you're not going to swing your way through the culture swing your way through this 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 our our, our community i'll call it because we are a community no matter how we look at it like this we have a culture the uk is a community of black culture in terms of you know influencers musicians we are part of a movement and i'm not going to allow you to come and inject yourself and move through things and then be making threats to women and no one's going to hold you accountable for it and i know what what was what would hurt him the most would be to take him to to have him off of these social media platforms because one of the things that he was always trying to do was pre create this facade to people that he was this good guy like all the time that's why he wanted to be on these platforms but i said nah when i heard about that i just said nah you're not gonna do that you're not gonna do that and you know I have no regrets, you know. A lot of people say to me, are you not scared? I'm not scared because I walk by God, I walk in faith and, you know, ain't no man that's gonna think it's like no man today that's gonna put his hands on me. No but there's nothing today. you can do because you've got, you've got your boyfriend, you've got your friends. I don't have male friends. I would be shook if I saw him. Because no one would back me. I feel like I you think no, no, no man, no, no man's gonna watch him put his hands on you and just stand by and let it happen regardless. So no matter what, I think, I think as a, as, a, as a culture, we need to stand up against what's wrong. And that is, I, I don't see any guy standing. And that's why I respect Castillo and Lippy very much from their podcast, because I remember when I spoke to Castillo, he was like, that's fine. That's, he didn't even want to hear any more. I've got you, do you know what I mean? Lippy as well, from what I heard from Castillo, fuck that, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Fuck that, he was just like, fuck that. And you've got to remember, these are men who also have daughters. These are men who also have sisters. These are men who also have mothers. And for anyone to condone it, do you know what I mean? You see, when we talk about cancel culture or cancel, canceling someone, he's someone that does need to be canceled and shouldn't be on any platform or shouldn't even be allowed to, you know, unless you're coming on a platform to say, this is what I was. I did abuse these women. I was, um, I was um, you know, abusive. I was financially abusive to women, emotionally abusive to women, mentally abusive to women. If you're going to come up and take accountability, then people can, are willing to listen to you and hear you and then also then take, talk, to, talk to us about the next steps on getting you the right help or getting yourself the right help. Because clearly he himself has got his own demons that he's fighting, which he projects onto other people, which is why he thinks it's okay to do these things to women. Like I can count, if I was to count all the women, we are more than 10 people. Do you understand? We are more than 10 women. 10 women can't come forward and say, you've done this and that, and there's no truth. There's no smoke without fire. Do you understand? So you can't come out and say, this person's lying, that person's lying. No, we're not lying. Do you know what it is? The only difference is you fucked with the wrong one, which was me. Do you understand? Because I don't think this would have, I, I don't, I wasn't comfortable at first doing this, but because I'm in a place of healing, I'm now happy to be able to voice and say, nah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I don't think, I don't know if you would have ever done this. Would you have ever done it? Only with you. I would have never done it on my own, but do you know why? Because I wasn't, obviously, because mine was short, I didn't get the full damage. However, I do think he's a nasty human being and I'm glad you spoke out, because... Yeah, and I just feel like, um, yeah, I, I agree. And I feel like, I feel like um, it's almost like, maybe because I've got the biggest mouth amongst all the women and Esther doesn't really care, but I feel like a lot of women reached out to me and wanted me to be their voices. No, it's because you've, it's because you've got the balls. 
A lot of, I have the same thing. I know the way I did it might have been different to you, but I had, I, even though I was carrying my own story, I had a lot of, I just didn't say the other women's stories. I have a lot of women's stories behind me. I'm not the only person that got abused by Tion. But also one more thing I want to say to you is, um, oh, this is so weird. Yeah. What the fuck? Is she gonna sit here? I'm not gonna stay silent. Silence is so deadly. If I'm talking to someone, I'll send them a nude, but I'm not like that. I don't send nudes to hundreds of guys. Cause he wasn't even too nervous, it made me want to look in the car and want to know what was going on. It wasn't even that I was scared or I didn't want to fight you. Why have you shown people my nudes? He's with her, he has to be. I'm, see I'm stalking you from my private page. Taking every bird in my fucking car, weren't he? When I got back outside my house, he was sitting in his car again, like ready to go again. And I was just like, I'm gonna die. He hit like a pole because of the nerves, because he tried to drive off, because I was just like, oh. No, 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 you need, you're not gonna bypass, but it was way much more dramatic okay, than that. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely feel like no woman alive should touch him.